Hey everybody! It is Friday. I am excited. I had a very productive day today and I'm just going to make sure that we're both live. Okay, we're live on Insta. We're live on Facebook. I've, I've figured that out. That Last week I had to do them consecutively instead of at the same time because uh, I guess I didn't press live on one of them. Anyway, <laughs> I've had a productive day. I had a lot of little last minute things that I needed to put together so that I could be prepared for February. I'm not completely prepared. There's still some items on that to-do list, but I feel much better prepared heading into next week. Do you realize that like next week is February? What? It's so weird. January is always so weird. It seems like it lasts forever and then goes by fast at the same time. Mostly, you know, slow when it's cold like it has been outside. It was negative 10 this morning when I woke up. So I did not do an outside walk today that I could bring you on. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody, I am so excited. So February is the month of love, right? So let's talk about sex. That's what I think. <laughs> sex, women in midlife, midlife sex, all the things right? And because I truly love you guys, I'm going to make them private workshops. So we're going to do them on uh, February 10th, or I'm sorry, 13th, and again on February 20th. These are Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. Central Time. So you should be able to come, and I would love to have you join me. And we will be talking about all kinds of subjects, libido, what happens during perimenopause and menopause and all those things that really puts a monkey wrench into sex life in general. And for sure, because you know me, we're going to be talking about ways that with our own compassionate awareness, we can really start to understand why it is that we have such a difficult time with sex. Um, I'm going to lean a ton on the very rich text of um, Emily Nagowski. Dr. Emily Nagowski is a sex educator. She wrote a book a handful of years ago called Come As You Are. Um, and it's all about women's sexuality, focused on women's sexuality. And I will lean on that a lot. But really what I'm excited about is as I do these closed workshops. So, you know, I want to see you register for this. I will put it in the comments so that you can, um, you can get the link. But what I want to have is a safe space for women. I want to have a safe space for us to talk about sex, talk about what sex looks like in your midlife, talk about taboo things, ask the questions that you don't ask in other places. Um, I'll give you tons of opportunity to be able to ask those questions. So if you don't like to just blurt that out in a group setting, um, it's all online in a group setting, but I will be sending out an email ahead of time. You can lend me your burning questions. I'll have that list ready to go as I come in and no one needs to know it was your specific question. So really that's what I'm trying to accomplish here is to create safe space to talk about sex and to talk about sex in midlife and to talk how, about how complicated that is. I mean, it's February, Valentine's Day, month of love, I figure, right? I mean, it's also Black History Month and I also love to have quotes for Black History Month all through the month. Um, and I'll have some other things, little things with that. Um, but let's talk about sex. I'm really excited about it. So that is our special for February. And again, it's going to be on February 13th and 20th, just in the link when or in the comments, when I'm done here at the live, I will put a link for um, how you can register for that, but it'll be at learn to love your um, forward slash let's talk about sex, right? Okay. So that's that thing. We just finished up masterclass. And we had a group kickoff uh, meeting on Tuesday. We have some wonderful, wonderful women that are signed up for my second group coaching cohort. Uh, Masterclass is still, the recordings are still available. 
if you are in my Take Back Your Mas Take Back Your Life Masterclass Facebook group, that's a mouthful. Blah, 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 blah. It made sense when I did it. And it like ties in with the video I have on learn to love your story.com right on my, my homepage. But OMG, is it a mouthful? So anyway. Take Back Your Life Masterclass. I still have those recordings. I'm going to leave them up until February 6th. I had originally thought I'd take them down on the 31st, um, but we aren't going to actually start group coaching until February 7th. And that is at, a, a, sorry, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. It's a Monday. Um, and we'll meet for 20 weeks on that Monday, on those Monday times at 10 a.m. So if this is anything you've ever, ever been interested in, pinned to the very top of my Facebook page is a place to register for the groups or show your interest. You're not registering. You're not paying any money. You're not doing anything like that. But if you would like some personal follow-up to learn what this group coaching thing is and what it could do for you, then I would definitely fill out that interest form. I'll put a link for that in the comments as well and probably in the top and, and all the places. So, you know, you'll be able to um, find out more information about what group coaching is, but the Synergy You People, oh my goodness, it's so amazing. My first group cohort started with me back in October and I just had a conversation this week with those ladies about how they're like, we're not gonna be ready at the end of this 24, 20 weeks. We're, we're, we're gonna want more, we're gonna want something else. So, hey, Learn to Love Your Story is going to weave and bob and weave with you, and we'll figure out a way to have a graduated um, plan as well for anybody who goes through group coaching. But I say this just to share with you, like, don't take my word for it. The women who are in this group right now find it invaluable. It's not just the education. It's having a group of people where you can share your own personal struggles about how the hell did I end up here? How the hell did I, like come to this midlife place and this is all there is. Like, I don't even like my life and I don't know where I went wrong because I did all the things right. I, I, you know, I did all of them. I'm into my career. I'm into my family. I'm into my communities. I am a good girl. I did all the right things. And yet I just feel dissatisfied with life. And it's these kind of women that I work with when you are struggling at this midlife transition, especially with this just not liking your life. Just, it's like the deep, dark secret that we don't talk about because we feel embarrassed. We feel guilty even about saying it to anybody because I mean, my life's pretty good, right? I, I have a good job. I have a good family. I shouldn't be ungrateful. It's not being ungrateful to say this isn't working for me. That something on the inside is telling me this is not working for me. It's okay to say that. And it's okay to reach out and get a tribe around you to really help you journey through figuring out how to love your life. And you can, you can learn to love your story. You can learn to love the big fat mess of your life as it is rats now. And I teach that in these masterclasses. So the four masterclasses that are recorded and available until February 6th, again, are on awareness. So learning what the story behind the story is, kind of what drives me to do what I do when I do it. Why am I finding myself struggling in these old patterns all the time? Why is the universe trying to teach me this lesson yet again? So that's the first class. Compassion is the second. And we talk at length about how when you have awareness of what's happening in your life, you have to pair that with compassion. I call that compassionate awareness to facilitate change because otherwise your internal mean girl, your self-critic comes out and jams up the works. It, you want to hide <laughs> from your self-critic and you just kind of double down in your old patterns rather than showing up differently with, you know, an accepting, loving, kind, understanding idea of, Hey, I know how I got here. I got here because of blah, blah, blah. I have that awareness. And I have some kindness and understanding for myself that that's where I am. And I would like to be someplace else. And it's compassion that really is that extra layer that helps you to be able to do that. So we teach about that. And then our third class is all about the stories others tell us. Making empowered choices 
instead of following the stories that others had for us. So this is where, you know, I had said earlier, I did everything right. Like this is the struggle that I hear. I mean, thousands of hours I've sat across the couch from people, thousands of hours. And so women routinely come into my office. It takes a hot minute for them to get around because they're feeling guilty, get around to talking about, you know, I just don't like my life. And the struggle really is how I did everything right. How did I get here? Like they told me to get married and they told me to have kids and they told me to do this in my career and they told me to do this in my community. And then, you know, all of these different groups, family, whatever. How did I get here? How do I not like my life if I did all the things they told me to do? That's the problem. You did all the things they told you to do. And when we're working according to other stories for us, it doesn't always serve us. And it may have served us at different points in our life. And I always point this out in that particular masterclass. It may have served us for a while in our life, and now it doesn't. And that's another part of life transition. I mean, as a life transition expert, I can tell you that, you know, one of the things that's the hardest is to say goodbye to a good thing, to say hello to a better thing but you can't have both at the same time. That's part of the transition and change of life. It's just part of the thing. So if that's something that's or that you're kind of interested in, and a lot of people are interested in that, just that subject alone, that is empowerment. That's our third in the masterclass series. And then, and then we ended it all with a true shift in the idea of self-care. True shift. We talk at length about how we have to flip this idea of self-care being a selfish thing into understanding that self-care is actually the most selfless thing that we do. When we are women who are caretaking in our lives, everybody, we're caretaking everybody, the communities, we're caretaking our jobs, we're caretaking our families. When you are that person and you are, that, you are the only one doing that, if no one's taking care of you, everything you do devalues at the same time. And I, I hate to say it that way because it sounds so strong language. Like, eh, yep, you pretty much are screwing your kids out of a better mom. You pretty much are screwing your job out of a better employee because you're not doing the self-care. But that is literally how this happens. And so we really talk about that mindset switch into seeing self-care as the first thing you should always do in your selfless acting and your caretaking because you have to caretake your, the caretaker first. So that's the last one. And those masterclasses are all up in the Take Back Your Life Masterclass Facebook group. Hey, I said it all at once in the mouthful that it is. I also have that available if you click on the link, if you're interested in group coaching and want to fill out that form and tell us a little bit more about what you're interested in, at the bottom of that page is also just links to all four of those master classes. So you can pop in and out of them and watch what you want and, and see. But these are hour long. They have all the materials that I put into my online courses and that I pour into group coaching um, with the ladies that I group coach. So registration for that is open till February 7th. And please just fill out that interest form. And so like I said, links of that will be in the comments. Links for Let's Talk About Sex will be in the comments. And I am so excited so excited to get started and to just enjoy this upcoming month of February. It's the shortest month of the year. My birthday is right at the end of it. It's, you know, not always my favorite of the month because of where I live, <laughs> but at least it's short and it has my birthday. Hey, what do we got? We got, I mean, there's some things there. That's, that's gotta be nice. I hope, story lovers, that you have a wonderful weekend. Whatever you've got planned ahead of you, if it's sitting on the couch Netflixing it, do it. But whatever you have ahead of you, I hope you do everything that you want to for this weekend. Really enjoy yourselves. Really get to rest, restore. Huh. That's not going to be the case for me because I have a huge house project that we're right in the midst of. But hey... I like that stuff. I do like to see the end product when it's all fixed and pretty. And we're right in the middle of the mess. So we're close. We're close, I think. I hope. Anywho, have a great weekend, my story lovers. And I'll see you live at five next week.